<laughs> How the fuck you get fired on your day off Barnes? <laughs> How you get fired on your day off? Come on, Maddie. Not on your day off. Not on your day off. You can't get laid off on a on your day off. What? He brought, he think he Paul Pierce. <laughs> he think he Paul Pierce. He think shit. Fuck it. Let's just get fired on our day off. Now, this here is always the funniest shit going on because. <laughs> his son goes to Crespi, right? The head coach of Crespi is Derek Fisher. <laughs> right? So, listen, so you already know sh shit be popping in the motherfucking stands, right? So, Derek, F Derek Fisher is the head coach. Matt Barnes is, is the parent coach from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> so we've we played them. So you know me, hey, I, hey, 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 Matt, you gonna let them coach your kids like this? You go, hey, you gonna let them serve your kids? I, I be trying to entice that shit. <laughs> so Matt, you just gonna let them serve your kid? Hey, man, I don't think the coach coaching your kids right. Oh yeah, I be saying all kind of stupid shit just to fuck with them. Now, let's listen to this shit. <laughs> you have an update on a previous story involving longtime NBA player Matt Barnes, if unfamiliar. Now. We have an update on a previous story involving now the kid. You see this? Hold on, let's let's go. So this kid right here, long time. This kid right here, yeah. You can already see <laughs> he got some shit to say. Yeah, this, him right here, he got some shit to say. So Matt Barnes right here yelling. Up. So <laughs> okay, Harvard Westlake is like prestige. <laughs> This is like uh, Harvard for white folks in high school. Damn near. Yeah, this is this is where you go. This is where you go when you above everybody. This is like the Beverly Hills of the Valley. An NBA player, Matt. So this is more prestige than Sierra Canyon. Barnes, if unfamiliar, Barnes was cheering on his son in a high school basketball game. Mm, yeah, shit. Yeah, chain. Yeah, you see that? Uh huh. God, let me talk to you for a minute, son. Against Harvard Westlake, when cameras captured him putting his hand on a high school announcer's shoulder, many rushed to the broadcaster's defense. And man, look at this! Look at it! Woo! You see? Hey, you see? You see? Rich folks in hey, this is rich folks right here. Attacked Barnes for this. Here was the call on the telecast. Working. Barnes had a bit of a flop. There's no whistle. Instead, Perry gets fouled. Okay. Well, this is Barnes for this. Here was the call on the telecast. So that's 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 Barnes' son right here, flopping. Working. Barnes had a bit of a flop. There's no whistle. Instead, Perry gets fouled. This is other son right here. You go, Derek Fisher's son right here. So you got both Barnes sons and Derek Fisher son. You're getting the ass for just, just FYI, listen. Harvard Westlake is the number one team right now. They they nice, right? I think they won a state championship. Or they won a city championship. After the no call And that's a technical. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I think Derek Fisher got it. Oh, I think one of the Barnes boys got it. Also, said gave one to Fisher, maybe. I'm not sure. Wow. But, and then, oh, wow. Well, that Barnes now is out onto the floor, or not on the floor, he's right on the side of the floor, just screaming, you're an ex-split. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, he's probably saying, you the B-word. I've, mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like this right now. I mean... <laughs> That's ridiculous. He's out on the floor right now, and there's no one doing anything about it. I think he's an NBA player. Point to, I mean, let's point to him. Let's point to him. Like, well, what? I mean, I don't, I don't think that's, yeah. yeah that's the voice you hear is Jake Lancer, whose shoulder Barnes touched. All right, we're back. 
got um the lab arts kind of came up and just put his shoulder hands on me actually so i mean i'm all good but i kind of i don't know Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Little bastard. I don't know why I'm taking sides already. But look, we can hear the kid talking right now, so why couldn't we hear the conversation? So then he must have turned that mic off. <laughs> he must have turned that mic off. Smart kid. Smart kid. Uh oh. Speaking of family. Like, oh shit, I've been seeing this before. Hey, you see Derek Fisher's face? <laughs> he, what? The pit bull loose. The pit bull loose. Oh shit. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> oh shit. Here go Matt. <laughs> he's he's been here before. He's been here before. Speaking with Dan Levitard, Barnes spoke on the matter. What happened? Why what what happened? Uh so what happened when we were at a high my kids high school basketball game and uh, it was a championship and my kids team was picked to finish eighth out of eight and somehow they found themselves in the championship against harvard westlake who is a nationally ranked powerhouse um so that's irrelevant <laughs> that's irrelevant okay i was yelling at the ref dan i yell at the rest of my entire college career my 15-year nba career uh i coach au in the summertime i have high school boys and i have a five-year-old coming down the pipeline so uh-huh I'm going to be doing a lot of yelling at the refs. Um, but this particular incident, um, this kid right here, and, and I will say my one mistake was putting my hand on his shoulder. A lot of people want to say I grabbed this kid or I did this. I literally put my hand on this kid's shoulder because he, you know, it was almost like I was talking to my son. You know what I mean? He he told me to sit my down, and I, I was just like. Yeah, he told you to sit your ass down. You know, why do you feel comfortable enough to be feel like you? Ooh, they rowdy over here. You can tell a grown man to sit his down. So um, he and I had a little back and forth. And, you know, again, obviously uh, admitting my faults to, to even touch him was wrong of me. But I, I want to make sure it's clear that, you know, the narrative of me is 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 some guy that beats up. I like that the kid turned the mic off, though. I like that kid. I'm on the kid's side now. Sorry, Matt. He's safe. Listen, I don't know what you were saying, but I can only imagine I will whoop your little ass, motherfucker. Don't talk. I, I know Matt. Right, so at least the kid turned. <laughs> at least the kid turned it off. He saved you a lot of embarrassment because all he had to do, you know, the woman would have did that shit, huh? What you saying? What you saying? At least he turned it off, right? For the sake of, for the sake of embarrassment. What's up, people? And I, I want to make sure people know I didn't body slam this kid. I didn't choke slam him. I didn't do any of the sort. I literally put his my hand on his shoulder, like you did know. You grip it though. Did you did you hit him with the what the fuck are you seeing? <laughs> did you hit the hit, hit him with the grip though? You should have like you, you know one of those. I mean the kids say it was fine. Like, like I was talking to one of my sons, and and again for that touching him, uh, I was wrong. But I just didn't like the disrespect that came with. Uh, the, the, the entitlement where they felt like they could say anything to me. Let's pause here. In case you missed it, Matt Barnes is defending himself just as he did. Willing to report is Matt, mm. Matt Barnes going up to our broadcaster, a high school Barnes senior, grabbing broadcaster. his shoulder while questioning what he's saying on the stream after he calls the ref a B multiple times because his son got a tech. Yeah. Shut your blank up, he wrote back. See, see <laughs> this is why, y'all, when Derek Fisher turned and looked, he ain't going nowhere because... This is Instagram, y'all, or Twitter. And this is <laughs> this is his response to the lady. So obviously, no fucks is given by Maddie right here. He don't give two shits about anything that's going on because he's standing on business some more. I was talking to the ref, not you or that kid that decided to say some slick blank. Don't let that privilege, Harvard Westlake blank, go to your head. I-D-G-A-F who your son is. The Sack Bees, Jason Anderson, also went in on Barnes. And after his column would go live, Barnes said, you weak a-holes are always trying to tell one side of the story. Live, Barnes said, you weak. So the Sacramento, somebody from the Sacramento Kings reported it. Okay. And Anderson also went in on Barnes. Uh -huh. And after his column would go live, Barnes said, you weak a-holes are always trying to tell one side of the story. Mm. Anderson, defending himself, did not appreciate this in the slightest. And he would bark back. Called you to hear your side of the story. We just wrote what's already been widely reported and what's on video. Nothing personal. You know how to reach me if you want to talk. You reach out after the fact. All right. Yeah. Um, Jason, you about to get your ass whooped. <laughs> You've been widely reported and what's on video. Nothing personal. You know how to reach me if you want to talk. You reach out after the fact. F you, Barnes wrote back. What with Anderson. this internet? Matt Barnes ain't giving a shit replied one of my colleagues has been trying to reach you the past few days and i've reached out as well again we will tell your side of the story if you tell us your side of the story and lastly from barnes 
you. The person who wrote, it's, a, it's such an interesting way to start it, is it? You. The person who wrote the story reached out this morning and I answered, don't play with me. Ooh. The damage is done. The headline is out there. If you really cared about the whole story, you would have called me like you did this morning. My hometown owes at least that much. You know, I was just inducted into the Sacramento Sports Hall of Fame. And this is the next headline my hometown sees about me. That's blanked up. You knew exactly what you were doing, but you wanted the whole story after the facts and headlines. Here is more Matt Barnes on Levitard Show. Not only did that kid say some slick stuff to me, but there was a there was a woman in the stands who actually they caught a picture of flipping me off saying, F you. And I'm just like, wow. Like you really feel that you could just say anything to me and again. <laughs> I know 100% Matt didn't say wow. <laughs> no way. Wow. Hell no. Well, fuck you too. And then you know he throws out the extra the extra shit. <laughs> like this, this, listen, the one thing about private school hit, <laughs> I don't know how racism was back in the 30s or 40s or whenever, you know, then, right? I don't know how basketball was back then, <laughs> right? When, you know, you Negroes coming in, I don't know how it was here. Oh, yeah, this, <laughs> they don't give a fuck about none of that. that it, it, this, it, it's wh whoever going to get that smoke in these in these gyms, woman, child, kid, pet, wh whatever, ref. I, I, I don't even think they have it when I was about to get arrested. Referee talking about I threatened him because he tripped. <laughs> As you can see the video, see, I wasn't talking to their team. I wasn't talking to their players, their cheerleaders, their fans. I was talking to the reps. The foul calls were 25 to nine in that game. So I was well within our right yeah, to be yelling at it. But you know, Dan, we live in a, in a world now where perception is reality. And if the narrative <laughs> fits, and, you know, I am, you know, Dan. <laughs> hey, yeah, yo, you know, that's what he said. Look, look, you know, the bitch don't touch me much. Live in a, in a world now where perception is reality. <laughs> and if the narrative fits, <laughs> and you know, I am someone who has had a background of handling business, you know? So again, I didn't want this to get, <laughs> blown out of proportion i even hesitated speaking on it because it has it has died down but i just wanted you know first of all you know apologizing for touching this kid's shoulder uh, i should have never touched him but i did want to know why he felt comfortable enough to tell me to sit my down and then i also wanted to know because 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 matt you already know how it works here you are the visitor we do not care nothing about what you got going on right we trying to win a game mm -hmm. you on the road Sit your ass down. You know, you know the rules just like when we go to Crispy. <laughs> Same atmosphere. Mm hmm Same atmosphere. Because you met Barnes, baby. You want all the smoke? You want all the smoke? Young fella gave you all that smoke in that microphone. Hey, you know, oh, Matt Barnes is Matt Barnes is at the table right now. Boop, shut your motherfucking ass down. Boop. Oh my god, Matt Barnes is attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> you know these young kids slick as shit. <laughs> you know that's how it happened, right? He's sitting there. Yeah, you know, so, you know, the, uh, Matt Barnes don't like the call. He's right here on the court. Sit your punk ass down. Boop. Oh, my God, Matt Barnes is about to attack me. Oh, no. Oh, what? Now, fuck you. You gonna do what? You ain't gonna do shit. As soon as you leave. Yeah, you know, altercation with men bad. He touched my shoulder and... And you know it's all it's all right. Shit was a little weak anyway. <laughs> Get back to talking shit again. Bravo, young fella. Bravo. Right now, here's the problem. This, this, this is. I'm gonna show you what the real problem is. The real problem is this. The real problem is this, y'all. Game involving law. He got fired from a job we didn't even know the nigga had. <laughs> we didn't even know you had a job doing microphone shit for Sacramento Kings. What? Ah, you losing jobs nobody even know your ass had. You didn't even know you had that job. Come on, Maddie. Y'all firing this man from a job nobody even know the nigga has. You think he give a fuck about that $2 job? <laughs> he don't care about that $2 job. He just signed for about $20 million on all the smoke. That's his new deal. You think he gives a fuck about that $2 job? Shut up. We, 
what days do the nigga work? <laughs> huh? What days do he work at the Sacramento Kings sports announcer analyst of the Sacramento Queens and Kings and when? We never seen a nigga on TV. <laughs> Is he radio? What it what did he do? What do he do for y'all? Once a month, six games a year? Man, he shoved that shit up your ass is basically what Matt Barnes is saying. Give a fuck about that little $2, $2 job y'all got. Gave him soccer in-studio analysts. <laughs> he got a whole sports show. <laughs> he must have had this. He must have had this job before he signed that 20 million. Because I know once he signed that 20 million, it was hard getting his ass up there. I guarantee you, after he signed, he ain't been to Sacramento. Analyst since god damn it is you crazy that nigga over that ten dollar an hour job you talking about he give a fuck why you think he over here slapping the shit out of you huh holding shit i'll slap you shut the fuck up fuck you fuck you rat like he, he obviously he don't give us no shits about none of that because that check says <laughs> that check hit different <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, fucking ten dollar job. You think he gave a fuck about getting fired? I'm like, wait, when did this <laughs> job? <laughs> what? Then this is probably one of them jobs that you know what I mean? Like, ah, I go there. But when? I got a couple all the smoke. I got to do some all the smoke stuff. Uh, who y'all playing? Mm, nah. Let me let, let let me know when um uh, let me know when Luca the Suns come in town and if I got some free time I'll come up there and you know call a little plays or something. Other than that, man, that man didn't give a fuck about that job y'all had. Come on, y'all. Stop trying to make headlines. Shit, y'all.